Jesus called Satan the father of lies in 1 John, which was written to actually refute the satanic Gnostic threat in the early church. John says that no truth is of the lie. In fact, it's interesting that uh, Satan inspired Gnosticism to give a retelling, as we've seen, of the Genesis story to teach that Satan is the liberator of humankind. In fact, it's interesting because as we look at the Matrix, we're going to see that the Matrix is another retelling of the Genesis story and another glorification of Gnostic Satanism. The reason so many sincere believers were convinced that the Matrix reports a Christian worldview is because the storyline seemed to be based upon salvific and eschatological themes that appear at first glance to run deep in Scripture. Moreover, these themes revolved around the messianic Christ-like figure Neo Anderson, whose mission is to save lost humanity from death and ultimate destruction. In fact, the barn of Christological themes are so obvious as Neo Anderson played by Keanu Reeves mirrors in many ways the main events in the Passion Week of Christ. At the beginning of the movie, we get clued in that Neo Anderson is a messianic figure as he's first cast in the mold of Jesus, but then as the movie progresses, Neo is not representative of the historical Jesus of the Bible, but the Gnostic Christ, a depiction of Antichrist. At the beginning of the movie, we see Troy, the computer hacker, saying to Neo, Hallelujah, you're my savior, man. Hallelujah, you're my savior, man. My own personal Jesus Christ. You get caught, caught, you Later in the trilogy, we see Neil Anderson referred to with different Christ titles like the beginning, the end, Savior, and Messiah. We also see in the first Matrix that Neo is betrayed by Cypher, who depicts Judas. Here we see Cypher, like Judas before betraying Jesus, sharing a drink with Neo. Кто ты такой? Я главный архитектор. Я создал матрицу.
Если вы знаете оккультную символику, то вы знаете, что они часто называют свет тьмой, а тьмой светом. Таким образом, они говорят, что Иисус — это зло. Не пытайся согнуть ложку. Это невозможно. Для начала нужно понять главное. Что главное? Ложки не существуют. Ты, который был там, куда никто не отважился ходить, ты будешь моим Богом? Создатель, наконец-то я встретил тебя. Ты не сможешь построить свой дом вновь, но я и есть твой дом. Ты живешь во мне, повелитель моего эго. Ты иллюзия. Ты не существуешь. Земля — мой
A man fell in a hole. He fell in a hole and he couldn't get out. A traveler passed by. He told the man to meditate, to purify his mind, and when he reached Nirvana, all suffering would cease. The man did as he was told, but he remained in the hole. Another man appeared. He explained that the hole didn't exist, and neither, in fact, did the man. It was all an illusion. The man who did not exist was still stuck in the hole that was not there. Another visitor arrived. He instructed the man to perform good deeds to improve his karma, and though he would still die in the hole, he might be reincarnated as something magnificent. Another man looked down from above. He taught the man to pray five times a day facing east and to follow five important tenets. If he was faithful, one day, perhaps, the Divine would set him free. The man prayed as best he could, but he was losing strength, and in the hole he remained. was something different about him. He called down to the man in the hole and asked him if he wanted to be free. This man lowered himself into the earth, into the pit. He took hold of the man. dragged him into the light. And the man in the hole, who could not get himself out, was saved. 